But it's time for Perpetual Guardian Money Matters. And today we're talking about our kids' relationship with finance. A very important one. Welcome back, Charlotte. It is smart to have them on the right track from a very early age, isn't it? Well, it's absolutely. And so we've brought along Donna from um, BNZ. She's head of their wealth. And she's going to talk to us about some of the things that you need to be looking for with your children. Hey, well, morning. Morning to you both. Morning, Donna. Good morning. Lovely morning. to have you here. Do you worry that kids aren't being taught the basics? Look, um... Mel, I've been te delivering financial literacy programs in schools most of my career and kids are really curious and they're enthusiastic to learn and I think it's a really good habit to get them into, teaching them about money matters early and we can all do that. We can and you can do it very, very simply in your everyday life but sometimes as parents you think oh, it's a little bit too hard or I'm not so sure about my financial matters so maybe I'll leave that till later but it's never too early is it? It's never too early to start and I think set them up you know, with a savings account. They get money for christenings, for birthdays um, and every little bit adds up. So even saving $5 a week um, over 25 years adds up to almost $6,000. I mean that's significant. It is significant. You don't really think about it like that. So even if you don't have a lot of money to pay your children pocket money, you should still be giving them something every week to save? Give them something to save every week or put it aside for them. Or when they get um, money from grandparents, you know, birthdays, Christmas, put that away. One of the concepts I teach at schools is spending, saving and sharing. Right, so they should spend some of it, obviously, on small things? On whatever, you know, it's a good way to teach them about savings goals. So yeah. what is something that they really want to buy. And I also teach them about needs and wants. So with the money that you've got left over, spend some, save some and share some. When you say sharing, that's towards charity or for helping giving. others? Giving, yeah. For giving. So like giving your mother a block of chocolate when she really wants it at night is a good thing. <laughs> that counts, doesn't yeah. it? It does count. I it was does. thinking more about people less fortunate than ourselves. Okay, yep, that is very valid. I understand that's very valid. chocolate works. Well, sometimes. <laughs> so setting up a savings account is easy and we should be doing that for all of our children. We should, absolutely. Okay, so it's just just about getting them into the right habits. And what about when we're taking them out to the supermarket and things? Are there things we can do there to teach them money matters or how we can relate to sort of everyday life? Supermarket is a great example and an opportunity, a learning opportunity for kids, particularly around teaching them the difference between needs and wants. You know, why do we buy things on special? Because we can get them cheaper, we can buy more with okay. our money. So we should send them down the aisles with a list and say, look for the specials and the ones that are relatively healthy as well. And then they'll be there all day. Be perfect. <laughs> so Charlotte, what about you? What's the most important thing you think we should teach our, our children? Well, as parents, it's really important that we look after them. So, you know, we, we work in wills and so we've got a special today for uh, parents to appoint guardians in their wills, which is the most important thing that you do as a parent. So text guardian to 422 and get yourself all set up. OK, so the takeaway from this is get a will and also Get our children saving. There's as little as is fine, even two, three dollars a week will still work. Just make sure that they understand it from a young age, then they will be debt free when they're older, hopefully. Yes. As we all be. As we will all be. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, fingers crossed. Hey, thank you so much. Lovely to have you and Donna. And also Charlotte, great advice as usual for Perpetual Guardian Money Week.